Hey guys, this is Ganesh. Welcome back to Ganesh Jada Automation Studio. Today we are going to learn about the difference between gate window handle and gate window handles. What is the difference between these two two methods, which is provided by the Selenium? What is the need of this method? What uh, why why we are using these methods? Everything basically we are going to learn. So guys, just just I'm giving the overview of these two methods. We have to use this method for handling the browser windows. Now, how how basically and what is the need of the handling the browser windows? Let me quickly open this one of the window and you can see guys, I'm going to click on this click button. Once I click on this click button, you can see your separate website is going to open, separate browser window is going to open over here. Now we are human, we are easily, we, we can easily understand, okay, this is child window is going to open and we can able to simply navigate. But Selenium does not have any artificial intelligence and you have to tell to Selenium, okay, child window is open and you have to jump on this child window. Because if you are not going to tell those things, then Selenium still is going to point out on the current window only. Selenium is not going to jump automatically on the child windows. Okay, you have to tell them. And how basically we can identify these terms? We can identify these terms with the help of the gate window, gate window handle and gate window handles. Okay, let me try to write down the XPath for this uh, web element. Suppose uh, 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 the XPath over here is control f double forward slash button uh, and in square bracket text method i'm going to use is equal to in single code i'm going to define this term okay so this is what guys xpath basically i'm writing down over here and let me quickly write down the uh, i'm just going to uh, click on that button travel dot find element by dot xpath i'm going to use i'm just providing the xpath i'm just i'm going to click on that button once i click on that button and now what exactly i'm trying to do guys I'm trying to fetch a uh, title of that uh, title of that page. It means I'm going to tell you, Selenium does not shift, uh, does not switch from one window to one another window automatically. If I'm going to use this driver dot get window handle, so with the help of this driver dot get window handle, you will get a title of this frame and network uh, frame and windows uh, uh, windows only. You cannot able to get the title of this Selenium because. Selenium is only pointed to the current window. If the any child window is going to open, you have to tell them. Let me quickly run this program and you can see guys what is exactly happen. Okay, uh, it, it's running, it's building the project and then it's running guys, you can see. Uh, okay, it is now browser is going to open. Now a URL is going to enter over here. You can see child window is going to open and it is automatically going to close the both the thing. You can see guys, the point over here is the problem over here is guys, you can see your only current window is going to close by the Selenium and Selenium does not close by the child window. And if you, if, if I'm going to open the IntelliJ idea, you can see only the current window ID basically, title basically we can able to fetch over here. It means Selenium does not able to understand how to switch from one window to another window because Selenium does not have any artificial intelligence so that is why we have to tell to the selenium so guys if you want to find out these terms what exactly we have to do guys compulsory we have to use the gate window handle and gate window handles method what we have to do guys we have to use the gate window handle okay which method we have to use uh driver dot gate window handle this method basically we have to use Okay, this method basically we have to use and another method we have to use for handling this part, which method driver dot, okay, driver dot gate window handles method. These two methods basically we are going to learn. Okay, now listen carefully guys, what exactly I'm trying to tell you. Okay, suppose uh, now I want to face, so what exactly we have to do guys, suppose let me close this window and what exactly I want to do, I want to, I want to switch from one window to another window. So what we have to do guys, we have to, we have to, we have to get the ID of this window and whatever child window we have, we have to fetch the IDs of the parent window and child window. We can say that this is a parent window we have and this is a child window we have. Okay, this is how basically we can say guys, okay. So now whenever we want to fetch the title of the parent window, so that time what we have to use guys, driver.getWindowHandle method we have to use. Driver.getWindowHandle method we have to use. And the return type of this gate window handle method you can see guys, the return type is straight for a string user return type. So I'm just going to use over here string class parent ID. I'm going to use okay string and parent uh, parent ID. I'm going to use and with the help of this term, we can able to fetch the ID over here. Okay, if I'm going to print the uh, print the data over here, you can see guys. 
parent ID. So we can able to fetch the parent ID over here. If I'm going to run my program, you can see guys, you can able to fetch the parent uh, parent ID basically. Now you might have a question, sir, why basically the return type we have a get window handle method has a return type as a string? Why it is not a other other? Because of guys, uh, why why these terms are not available? Because of guys, uh, string is a immutable class in a Java and it and you cannot able to change the string at the runtime. So that is why basically get window handle has a return type which is named as a string and you can see guys you can able to fetch the id over here now now we want to fetch the ids of the child window and parent with child window basically so for that what exactly we have to use guys we have to use driver dot get window handles method we have to use now the point over here is get window handle only return the current current window address your get window handle method only return the current window address but if you are uh, but if you looked at the get window handles method your get window handles method return you the what guys your get window handles method return you the what guys your set of the uh, set of the windows including the parent window id and child window id both the id basically written by this this get window handles okay so if i'm going to if i'm going to see over here so what is the return type of the get window handle guys the return type of the gate window handle is a set of string okay so i'm going to write down over here set of string and all window i'm just using over here that's it okay now we want to fetch what we want to do guys we want to fetch the all ids one by one so what exactly we have to do guys we have to use a string s colon all window we have to use guys and you can see system dot out dot print and s if i'm going to write down over here as so you can see what exactly happened if i'm going to run my program you can see guys we can able to fetch the id of the parent window and with the help of this get window handles methods we can able to fetch an id of the parent window as well as child window okay parent window and as well as child window also we can able to fetch over here you can see guys this is a parent window id this is what we printed and you can see this both the statement both the ids printed by this get window handles method so your get window handles method return the all parent window id as well as child windows ids but your get window handle method only return the parent window id okay this is the big difference between the get window handle and get window handles method second difference is get window handle method has a return type which is named as a string get window handles method has a return type of the set of string now you might have question why we why this why the set of string is a return type of the get window handles method why we cannot have the list of web element or list of string because of guys whenever we want to jump from one window to another window so list never sorry set never ever stored the duplicate data over here your set is never ever stored the duplicate data over here so if you want to jump from one window to another window you can easily jump but if if the list of string uh, uh, is the return type basically if we have suppose imagine that guys if you are having the list of string is a return type we have of the get window handles method then list is always stored the duplicate data then how basically you will get to know from which window you have to switch okay that is why set of string is a return type of the get window handles method now the point over here is now the scenario over here is i want to what is the scenario we have i want to i want to what what is the scenario we have i want to uh, i want to click on this button I want to jump on this Selenium uh, uh, Selenium window, and then we have to close this Selenium window, and then we have we have to close the child window, and we have to close the parent window. This is my scenario we have, guys, right? Because usually, see, if I'm running this program right now, it is only going to close the parent window. It means this frame and windows, uh, this this window is going to open the Selenium window still open over here. So what exactly we have to do? So guys, simple scenario we have. Let me quickly. So what exactly we have to do, guys? So what exactly we have to do? Now uh, I'm just uh, removing the printing statement over here. And what exactly I'm trying to do, guys? Uh, within an for loop, uh, for loop, I'm going to iterate the all windows get, with the help of the get window handles method. Whatever IDs we are getting, we are going to iterate one by one. So once we are done with this thing here, for string s is equal to all windows, I'm going to open. And if I'm I, I'm going to apply the condition over here, if what condition I'm going to apply, guys? If not equal to what, guys? Parent window ID dot 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 contain equals your your contain equals s. 
if your parent window id and your child window id if both are same then ignore don't jump on this part don't enter here okay and what is our scenario guys now if it both are not the same okay if both are not same then we have to enter in a if condition and then what we have to do guys we have to jump on where guys we have to jump jump on the we have to jump on uh, on, on the child window okay this is what the scenario i'm going to use so driver dot manage dot window dot switch to method we have to use which method we have to use guys sorry uh, which method we have to use driver dot switch to method we have to use switch to dot window method we have to use so whenever we want to jump from one window to another window that time switch to method we have to use and whatever s we are having we are passing that s over here and you can see guys based on it we can able to jump from one window to another window okay and here i am using the driver dot close method i am going to use okay so with the help of this term we can able to what guys with the help of this term we can able to close our thing okay now if i'm going to run my program if i'm going to run my program you can see guys what exactly happen can be able to close the child window over here let's let's try to run my program one more time so if i'm going to open you can see it is going to open and it is going to close as well guys this is quite a fast execution is happen over here but the again problem over here is you can see guys your parent window is still open okay probably you cannot able to observe this term let me quickly apply some what guys let let me quickly apply some thread over here okay uh, so so you can able to easily understand this term okay so what is exactly i am trying to do guys i am just trying to apply this thread dot slip over here so you can able to uh, easily understand how basically gate window handle is open over here you can see guys again my script is running over here okay you can see it is going to click on the uh, click button and you can see now child window is going to close over here but again parent window still same over here as i already told you guys right now your selenium is pointed to the child window which is named as a selenium so now that child window is closed so selenium does not able to understand you have to tell them manually okay that window is closed and now you have to jump from child window to parent window it means guys each and every time you have to tell to selenium you have to jump from parent window to child window or child window to parent window this is the activity basically you have to do now guys what what is the problem over here like what is the solution on this guys so simple what we have to do outside of this for loop we have to use the driver dot what we have to use guys driver dot uh, driver dot the switch to method we have to use dot what windows method we have to use and whatever parent id we have we need to provide this parent id over here and based on that you can able to switch back to the parent window and with the help of this term you can able to close the all child window and parent window as well you can see guys if i'm going to run my program you can see what exactly happen now uh, i again rerun my script over here its browser is going to open you can see it is going to close now child window is going to close and you can see guys your parent window also going to close over here automatically so this is a solution basically we have and with the help, with the help of this solution we can able to close with the help of this solution guys we can able to close the whatever n number of child uh, windows we can able to close as well as we can able to close the parent window as well we can easily jump from parent window to child window and we can easily jump from child window to parent window as well with the help of the gate window handle and gate window handles method so again we can able to summarize over here guys gate window handle uh, method is used for whenever we want to fetch the id of the current window that time we have to use the gate window handle gate window handles methods used for fetching the parent window id as well as child window id this is the first difference we have second difference we have gate window handles method has a return type which is named as a string and gate window handles method has a return type which is named as a set of string okay this is the main difference between the gate window handle and gate window handles okay that's it for today guys thanks thanks for watching this video